It is spring in Oklahoma. Actually, it's not quite spring in Oklahoma, but it feels like spring in Oklahoma. The, the snow has gone away, and that means an annual ride of spring in Oklahoma City, the Red Bug Classic. It's Suzanne Chu joining us today. Uh, you are Public Relations Coordinator for the Red Bug Classic. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks so, for joining us here on our spacious couch that we just got in studio. And great new setup. It it's is. Awesome. It, it's getting there. It's getting there. And this is the 33rd annual uh, Red Bug Classic. What's new this year? Well, new this year, you know, every year we pick a different beneficiary, which is, you know, something that we're really trying to stress. You know, Red Bud is a local event. We give money back to the community, you know, more than half a million dollars over 33 years. So our new beneficiary for 2015 is Boys and Girls Club of Oklahoma County. We're super excited to have them, you know, partnering with us. And it is a partnership. They provide us volunteers. They stuff their runner's bags and the cyclist bags. So, you know, they definitely have a vested interest in the event. So Tell me more about, about that. That's interesting that you would go to them and say, hey, you're going to be our beneficiary this year, but here's how you can get involved, engaged, and help out. Sure. Um, each spring, as soon as the event is over, we start taking applications for the beneficiary for the next year. And we get several local nonprofits that apply, and we narrow it down, and the board directors reviews all of those applications. And one of their obligations as a beneficiary is to provide us with at least 150 volunteers over the course of the weekend. One of their main jobs is they stuff nearly you know, 7,000 bags. for All of those the, packets, right? Right. All, all the stuff is usually the delivered there. The, the numbers. Yes, the, the bibs. Mm -hmm. you know, everything goes in, you know, the shirts, all the supplies that come from sponsors, any of the giveaways, those, all, those go in the bags. And so they stuff those. They help coordinate our children's event, which is on Saturday of the event. And they provide us just with volunteers all over the course. So it's definitely a partnership. We work together throughout the whole year to make the event happen. It's a well-oiled machine at this point, isn't it? It is a well-oiled machine. Let me just say at this point, the, uh, the Red Bug Classic is April 11th and 12th. We'll get into the events in here in just a second. But the 33rd annual Red Bug Classic, uh, and you mentioned uh, beneficiaries. Uh, I, I noticed that the 2016 beneficiary, contact Patty Anthony, right? That's right. You can, um, info at redbed.org is our email address. And if you're interested in applications, she can get you that. And we are always anxious to get new beneficiaries and new people that are interested in partnering with Redbud. That's fantastic. A great cause and you put them to, to good use. Right. It goes, it goes right back into the Oklahoma City community, which is not, you know, something a lot of runs can't say. You know, we are definitely a local event and dollars stay here, which is important. Perhaps that's why it is such a sustainable event. And let's talk about the event. It's April 11th on Saturday. It's the, uh, the bicycling, right? Right. We start at 7 o'clock in the morning with the cycling events. There's a 10 mile, a 33 and a 50 mile cycling tour. So you can have your kids on their training wheels doing the 10 mile or the avid cyclist all the way up to the 50 mile. And that starts at the Waterford Plaza um, and it goes all the way out to Jones if you're running the longer route and come, turns around and ends right back there at Waterford Complex. That's quite the tour. It is quite the tour. And then there's a pancake breakfast for all the participants afterwards. There's live music. There'll be beer at the finish line. It's a it's a great event, you know, to start off your Saturday morning. And that is Saturday, April 11th, over at the Waterford Complex, and then the next day on Sunday is where a lot more events take place, including some running and walking. That's exactly right. We have a 5K run, a 10K run, a two-mile walk, a baby stroller derby, and then even a 5K wheelchair event. And all those start at two o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Now you will not be running this year, you, you'll be running the show, running back and forth, but there's a lot of hustle in your day too, right? It is a definite busy day with us starting off at the start line. We have Jack and Ron from KISS FM that typically do our start line, so I'm up on the scaffolding with them and they shoot off the gun and we get everybody going and then I end up at the, the finish line pretty quick. Let's talk about the finish line because there's some exciting events this year there. Absolutely, we have a new event this year called the Red Bed Bash. And it's really going to be a standalone event. Even if you're not participating, you just want to come cheer on and just really get into the Red Bud atmosphere. We have food trucks. There's going to be a TV. We're going to watch the Masters. There's live music. Coop Beer will be out there as well. It's definitely going to be a standalone event to participate in the weekend. It's the Red Bud Bash. The hashtag, I believe, is fun at the finish. Fun at the finish. That's, That's a right. good idea. That's a good idea. You know, you mentioned the, the finish line. I've run this event a couple times. I thought it was pretty challenging because all the hills in Nichols <clears throat> Hills, uh, it's, it's a decent run, but the supporters along the, the way, whether they're at the water stations or just in their front yards and then at the finish line, really makes a big difference. I think that's what makes Redbed unique. I mean, the community support and you know, on a hot day, you have people standing out there you know, in front of their house, they'll squirt you with a water hose, that's right. they'll throw water on you and make their own additional <laughs> little water stop, if you, know, if you will. You have people with music outside, we have 
um, contests every year where people decorate their sidewalks and you know they can win a block party. So we definitely have different things that go on that encourage the community to participate. And the residents of Nichols Hills love it. It's a great event. It is a great event. Rain or shine this year, April 11th and 12th. It's the 33rd annual Redbud Classic benefiting the Boys and Girls Club of Oklahoma County. Uh, I should mention the Oklahoman is proud to be the media sponsor this year. Suzanne Shu, thank you so much for your time Thank today. you we so much. It. Thanks Look, for having Looking us. forward to the event.